Uh, the other side of the street here, and uh, can I use the words bull and lives? Yeah, that's the uh, not so subtle, very blunt assessment of the CWA leadership in response to the positions that you were mentioning that we heard from Catholic Health CEO Mark Sullivan this afternoon. They say that they came to them at the 11th hour with some of these proposals and they needed more time to digest them. That's why they say they had to walk away from the bargaining table at 3.30 this morning and this strike then commenced at 6 o'clock this morning. But their claim is they need more time to go through this and they tried to do that for months with Catholic Health and their contention, the union's contention is that Catholic Health was not listening. So we did interview three individuals who are on the picket line today, one actually being a nurse from ECMC, a CWA member, who is out here in solidarity, along with two other members. And these, again, repeating the three main points as we've heard all along in this situation, staffing, wages, and supply issues with Catholic Health. Staffing is a crisis across the board, which is why we pushed for staffing legislation to be passed. And as the pandemic happened, one of the very few good things that came out of it was it was seen that staffing ratios increase patient outcomes to be positive instead of negative. It just makes sense. If you have more people to care for your loved ones, they're going to be cared for better. I've been working here for almost three and a half years, and I don't even make $15 an hour. And it's crazy because you, Tim Hortons is, is hiring for $15 an hour to start anywhere. You know, it's just very hard. We do get reports in from the Union Hall. And yeah, some of the floors that, you know, send in reports, they can't find urinals. I mean, I've had staff members come and say that they're actually training new nurses, nurses aides, where to look on other floors for supplies. I mean, basic needs, syringes, urinals, NG tubes that they don't have. Now, we did specifically ask the CWA Upstate Director, Debbie Hayes, as to when they would be willing to go back to the bargaining table. She did confirm some of these reports that have been out there that there probably won't be any talks on Saturday or Sunday, and it's really not sure beyond that exactly when they would go back to the bargaining table. She did point out federal mediators are now involved in this dispute. And she said when those mediators call them back, they will indeed go back and they're ready to do so. And they said Catholic Health better be prepared for that as well. Also asked how long this strike could last. Obviously, you know what the answer was, as long as it takes. Reporting live from South Buffalo and the Mercy Hospital campus, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Back to you.